The sun rises in the east and Asia awakes. This will be another day of growth and change for the world's largest and most populous continent. From the urban jungles of Shanghai to the rainforests of Sarawak, on the streets of Bangkok and in the markets of Mumbai, 60% of the world's population will go to work, attend school, shop and live life, all while changing the face of planet Earth. This is Asia and this is the future. I still would like to be in Asia in this moment. It because of uh, Asia is growing, especially in ASEAN. If the 20th century was America's, then the 21st century belongs to Asia. And how its people and leaders deal with the challenges and opportunities ahead will redraw our world for centuries to come. We aspire to be a community, not quite a union. A community meaning we will become one market, integrated, and rather competitive with the rest of the world, certainly with the rest of the emerging world. Asia Rising is a landmark television event designed to define, document, and deliver this critical story to a global television audience. What is the meaning of the future of Asia? Asia is growing. Because if you're looking about the GDP of the whole Asia, it still be growing. Even in Asia for the last 30 years, we are rely so much on about the export to Europe, to America. Hosted by business leader, author, and noted philanthropist Vikram Kromadit, Asia Rising provides a prescient and passionate perspective on the power and scope of Asia in the decades ahead. This is a pan-continental story of change and optimism, but it's also a tale that needs to be told with realism and perspective. It's through human interaction that we are humans, and Asia and Europe are the two greatest civilizations of world history. Their coming together has helped to create this modern world. There is not simply one Asia, nor is there one view of the way forward. So Asia Rising takes a balanced look at the people and their values, governments and their responsibilities, and the corporations and markets that will define the next 50 years. Uh, if you compare uh, uh, Asians uh, who, who really work in that way, I would call they work hard and they love to work hard. And even they are rich, they still be working. In Asian growing and they continues to grow because of the behavior of the Asians in mind, you know. In much the same way that Marco Polo's travels along the Silk Road awoke Europe to the culture and splendor of China, Asia Rising will provide a Marco Polo moment for this generation. A successful Asia is not simply a competitor for the West, but a customer. A wealthier continent complements the global economy and a more confident population will add a new voice to international debate. Asia Rising is a multi-year project beginning with four 60-minute specials in the spring of 2013 that will look at what is driving Asia, economics, urbanization, the environment, and the impact of ASEAN and free trade agreements. This is Asia's time. This is Asia Rising.